Hi, good morning, happy Friday. Today's read aloud is going to be Swimmy by Leo Leone. I think this is a really great story about working together, which is something we've all had to do this week, our first week of learning at home with our families and friends and our the loved ones that we share our homes with. And I really hope you enjoy it. Um, the paintings in this story are just so beautiful. I love the artist um, Leo Leone's use of color to convey emotion. And I wonder if you'll see those things too while I turn the page and enjoy the book with you. Swimmy by Leo Leone. A happy little school of fish once lived in the corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. Sorry, getting this book positioning right. One had a one bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. Only Swimmy escaped. See how dark that fish is and how angry and the adjectives that the author used to describe him. Swift, fierce, very hungry. And there's Swimmy getting away. He swam away in the deep wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. You see that with the color too on this page. But the sea was full of beautiful and wonderful creatures. And as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. I love the colors on this page. It's my favorite. A lobster who walked about like a water moving machine. Strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. in a forest of seaweed growing from sugar candy rocks. Isn't that an awesome way to describe rocks that may be covered in coral? So beautiful. And the intricate design of lace, they almost look like doilies that he painted and pressed on the paper. What great detail. An eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember and sea anemones who look like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Have you ever watched a video of underwater and how things tend to move like that as if there's wind, but it's really the water flowing? So pretty. Then, hidden in a dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish, just like his own. Let's go swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. I like to tap my chin or at school. I tell my kindergartners to stroke their thinking beards, which is really cute and fun to watch them do. Feel free to do it if you're in the mood. All right. Suddenly he said, I have it. <gasps> We're going to swim together like the biggest fish in the sea. Wonder if it'll work. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. Let's see, there they go, they're coming, and these guys are starting to form the shape of a fish here. But I like how it says he taught them to swim. He was being a leader for them and showing them I love that. And then they had learned to swim like one giant fish. He said, I'll be the eye. Oh, because he's black, it looks just like a fish, doesn't it? You see its tail and its bottom fin and its top fin, so cool. Oh, they're approaching something it looks like. We're gonna find out on the next page. And so, they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. The end. Because they worked together. 
I love how the community that we have put together here online has shared different ideas, different ways to gauge our interests, um, seek new learning opportunities, and just share. I love that. When you teach, you share what you know. Um, when you learn, you are sharing how you learned it. And I think everyone does that in their own unique way. I love being able to get online and um, read to you guys every day. I would love for you to think about a time you had to work together with someone and how great it was and what the turnout was. Um, sometimes it goes really easily. Sometimes it doesn't go very easily. But the more we work together, the more practice we have at doing that. And the more practice we have, the better it becomes because practice makes progress. So again, I hope you guys had a great week. I miss you very much. All my students back at Spencer Borden. Um, if you're not at Spencer Borden and you're missing school, send a note to your teacher. I know he or she is probably missing you a lot too. I hope you enjoy the linked activities below. Down under description, click read more and you'll see tons of different things to do that um, go along with this book today. And I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, be well.